this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and today is show number four. Now today we're going to give you an advanced tip and this is one of the advanced tips that we teach in our advanced home study course and the advanced live workshops and seminars and it's going to have to do with when one is using muscle testing to ask questions of the body. Now there's a lot of controversy about this. Some techniques and many people agree with this and some techniques and many people do not agree with this. We're not going to get into that today. There are people just like yourself who have questions about these kinds of things and so we're here to answer your questions. So our guest today is going to be Dr. Richard Huntoon, Dr. Rick Huntoon from Newburgh, New York and he's going to have a tip for you with regard to asking questions and muscle testing. Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and our special guest today is Dr. Richard Huntoon. He is, practice is in Newburgh, New York. We're here today in Albany, New York at the Desmond Conference Center and Hotel. And Dr. Huntoon has been in practice since 1991. He practices many different techniques like I do. And what are all the different techniques that you practice? Oh, I think there are too many to list here today. <laughs> to say that I utilize muscle testing as a, uh, a major tool in my office and so uh, I, I thought that I could give some good tips today but uh, you, you had a couple questions? Yeah, Dr. Huntoon, one of the things uh, that, that, that I always liked about Dr. Huntoon actually is his story about how he got interested in muscle testing and kinesiology because when he was in college, uh, he was very intent on going to medical school, right? Yes, I was intent to go to med school to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. I had every intention on being a surgeon. Uh, I was focused. I had filled out some med school applications, was all set to go. And uh, during a summer job, I was painting houses and um, I, I essentially went to step off a ladder from about 12 feet up. I missed the rung and I fell to 12 feet and I landed on my feet, uh, thank goodness, but what I did was I compressed my spine and I locked my spine in a, in a flexed position. Um, so ow. after driving home, and it was definitely out, <laughs> after driving home, my dad saw that I was struggling to get out of the car. He says, well, why don't you just stay in the car and go down and see, go see Phil? So I was like, well, Phil is Dr. Phil Maffetone, uh, who was a local chiropractor who practiced applied kinesiology. And um, I went down to see Phil and I'd, I'd never experienced anything like what he was going to do for me and it involved muscle testing and in the process of muscle testing me I couldn't figure out what he was doing but he was he was doing some nutrient testing and taking weak muscles and making them strong like in an in instant and to me that just didn't make any sense and because he, he didn't uh, take a lot of time to explain things mm -hmm. um, I left the office with a lot of questions so it basically changed my career. Instead of going to med school to become a cardiothoracic surgeon, I figured, well, if I could go learn what this guy did to me, then maybe I could prevent people from needing cardiothoracic surgery. So uh, I got in. I ended up going to the same school that he went to, which was uh, National, and uh, I've been muscle testing ever since. And uh, you couldn't pay me not to do what I do. I mean, it's it's that much fun. It it, it makes that much of a difference. Uh, the, the, the patients that I've helped over the years, um, it's, it's just made a huge difference having this, this tool um, that enables me to evaluate a person's function. So, And so one of, uh, one of the things that Dr. Antoon has observed over the years is, is, uh, is that clinically, it doesn't matter if you're a lay person who's trying muscle testing for the first time, uh, or you've been to one of our live workshops or seminars or you're using our home study course or you're a professional who's who's trying to utilize muscle testing for your to help your patients or if you're a professional watching this and you want to get better results with your patients or get a better application of the muscle testing that you're already doing uh, Dr. Huntoon has a great tip to share with us today. The tip that's most important that I found is is the way you phrase your question Okay, there's, I'm going to give you three types of questions that you could use when you're muscle testing. The first is, um, for instance, if a person is trying to assess whether a food is good for them or not, okay, the natural question might be is, you know, can I eat this? And you want to mu try to muscle test that. Well, of course you can eat it. You can eat anything. Your body will assimilate anything. But is it, you know, better question is, well, is this good for me? 
Okay, so the difference between can I eat it versus is this good for me? You're moving in the right direction. Okay, well it might be good for you, but it, there may be things that are better for you. So the way that I phrase questions when I'm asking about a person's health is, is this the highest and what I'm asking about uh, muscle testing, you know, for, for instance the nutrient, is this nutrient for my highest and best good to express my highest and best health? Okay, that question is going to be much more definitive than, you know, can I eat this, or uh, is this good for me, or um, any of those kinds of things. So when you get to specifying the question and making it as specific as possible for what it is that you're looking for, you know, why would I want to know if this is good for me? Well, is it, is it just good for me, is, there, is it the best thing for me? So that's the, that's the tip that I would encourage people to just consider when they're muscle testing. And uh, be patient with yourselves while you're doing this, because it, it, is, it's, it is an art, uh, but it is a very valuable tool, and uh, that's my tip for today. Well, that's great. So the quality of the question is going to determine the quality of your answer. Absolutely. If you have low-quality questions, you know, then you're going to get low-quality results. Right. We certainly don't want that. We don't want that. All right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Antoon. My pleasure. We'll have a link to his website. Uh, Dr. Antoon's website is... Uh... Uh, I have two. My main website is affiliated with my office. is spineboy.com, spelled just the way it sounds, spineboy.com. And my second website that has uh, monthly topics on it, changes every month, is uh, askdocrick.com, uh, spelled basically just that way, too, askdocrick.com. Um, and... Come back to the site as much as possible. It's a wealth of information, and uh, I'd be happy to see that you've been there. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so that was your advanced tip today regarding asking questions when you're doing muscle testing, and we'd like to thank Dr. Hunt, too. Today we've been filming here in Albany, New York, at the beautiful Desmond Conference Center and Hotel. And it's because we've been attending a standard process seminar with Dr. Michael Dobbins. We interviewed Dr. Dobbins on last, our last show, show number three. And thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.